Hey everybody, let's talk about graphing horizontal and vertical lines. So horizontal and vertical lines can be very, very difficult to graph and kind of think, you know, which is which. For example, I have two problems here that I'm going to do. Y equals negative 3 and X equals 7. And a lot of times students are faced with these problems that they have to graph them and answer a few questions about them. And it's really tough for kids to figure out, well, is it a horizontal line? Is it a vertical line? I'm not really sure. So there's a little saying I'm going to show you that kind of helps you figure that all out. The saying, which, I mean, it might seem crazy at first, but the more you say it, you're going to remember it, and it helps you through it. And the saying is, hoi vux, hoi vux. And what this is going to do is it's going to help you graph horizontal and vertical lines as well as remember important characteristics about it. So, hoi vux, here's what it stands for. The H stands for a horizontal line. So the H is for horizontal. The O really isn't an O, that's actually a zero because the slope is zero for a horizontal line. Now the Y that you see in many different variations, what I try and use is I say Y equals, so any equation that's Y equals just a plain old number, a constant, it's a horizontal line. Um, I've seen Y axis, I've also seen Y intercept. Um, but no, there's there's Y is, is going on there. For VUX, you could probably figure out some of these now. A V is for vertical lines. The U means the slope is undefined. And the X stands for, you know, that's going to be an X equals equation. It's going to have an X intercept. It's going to be on the X axis. So using that, it's going to help us get through these two problems. So the first one I have is Y equals negative 3. So I see the Y, and I'm thinking of Hoyt and Vux. I know it's a horizontal line. I know the slope's going to be 0. So without even graphing this, I know I should get a slope of 0, but we'll look at it. And I know it's a Y equals equation, and I should have a Y intercept. So I'm going to go on my Y axis, and I'm going to go to negative 3. And I'm going to put, oh my goodness, I did positive 3 there. I'm not paying attention. Negative 3 is the number we're dealing with, not that one. Negative 3. And what I need is a horizontal line. And horizontal lines are going to go, they're going to look flat like that. Well, vertical, we're straight up and down. So I need a horizontal line here. So I'm going to draw that in. There we go. And some things we know about this is from watching slope dude, the slope is zero, but we also knew that from Hoy. Um, notice there is no x-intercept here. We never cross the x-axis, but we do cross the y-axis, so there is a y-intercept at zero, negative three. And then my second problem here, x equals seven. So thinking about vux, I see x, vux, vux. So I know it's a vertical line, undefined slope, I'm going to be an x equals prom. I need an x intercept at 7. So we go on the x axis to 7 and put a point. Remember, I need a vertical line, so it's going up and down. So straight up and down. And there we go. There is my vertical line. And the slope of this, again, we know from slope dude and we know from vox is going to be undefined. Uh, x intercept here on this one. And that is at the coordinates 7, 0. Um, you could try and talk about a y-intercept, but notice that we're never going to cross the y-axis. So Hoi Vux, it's going to help you through graphing horizontal and vertical lines.